Thanks for coming out and watching the oxymoronic Reddit professional show, where I showcase the best and worst of the internet. Here I comment on brilliant and hilarious comment chains regarding dumb shit on the internet for you to enjoy. Make sure to subscribe, hit the little bell button so that you get notifications every time we come up with a new video. Enjoy this week's show. Teachers of Reddit, what is your best read the note to the class story? In high school, a girl in class passed a note to another girl, asking if she had a pad or a tampon. Teacher completely blew up, started yelling at them, and asked them to read it out loud. They did, and the teacher, who was an older man, immediately calmed down and let it go. I think he was more embarrassed than the girls. My then fiancé was a high school math teacher. One day, she thought she saw a note being passed, but she wasn't sure, so she waited. Then she thought she saw it again. Finally, she saw it, walked over, and took it. It was a wedding card, signed by half of the class, before she took it. She cried. Edit, yes, she's now my wife. Student, not a teacher. In maybe the fourth or fifth grade, a kid is trying to pass me a note and is caught by the teacher. I wasn't paying attention to where it came from, I only noticed when it was about to be handed to me. She makes him read the note in front of the class. He reads the note and it says, You wanna be my boyfriend? I like the way your booty moves when you walk. I overreact and say, I'm not gay! And the boys say, I didn't write it, that came from Tasha. Everyone laughs and she and I are both extremely embarrassed. After class, I go to talk to her at the locker, and she says, yeah, I wrote it, but I don't like you like that anymore. Legend has it, I'm still single to this day. When I was in high school, we had a kid pass a note to another kid all subtle-like. They both sat behind me in the same row. The kid did not even read it. He put it in his pocket, but the teacher saw. She made him stand up and told him to pull out the note. He refused. She told him to pull out the note again, and he refused. She legit reached into his pocket and said something like, Let's see what you are hiding from class. She saw the contents and went white. She grabbed both boys and led them to the office immediately. The note, which I later found out, said something along the lines of, Package left in second trash can of third empty room, or something like that, with gun. You won't need it. Don't fuck this up. The police found a small amount of heroin and a 22 pistol with no ammo in said trash can underneath some balled up papers. This turned into a mess where the kids both claimed neither one wrote the note and were not the intended recipient. So the school said they would expel everyone from that line of desks, which our parents pretty much stopped. The police tried searching all of our homes, but my parents refused to allow anyone into our home. I was in band at the time and had to take a drug test every six weeks. My parents believed me, so they refused to allow the police to search the home. The event never got punished because they could never prove anything other than the teacher saw two kids pass a note. About four years after graduation, I saw on MySpace, yep, that long ago, that one of them died to an OD and the other was arrested for his murder. They never got him for the murder of supplying drugs to a druggie, but did get him on a drug charge. A positive spin. I was long-term subbing a class. One day I noticed students discreetly passing around a piece of paper while I was teaching. I went to retrieve it and discovered it was a petition signed by each student requesting I remain their teacher for the rest of the year. In health class, we were talking about boners and how they fill up with blood. My cousin took a piece of paper and wrote, Your penis is filled with blood and threw it at some popular kid. The teacher picked it up and you can see him die inside because of the immaturity of 8th graders and how he has to teach them for a career. Not a teacher, but when I was in high school, I started a note from the back row of the class, which was passed and read by nearly everyone in the class. The teacher grabbed it as it went past him, when there was only three people left who hadn't read it. I think he was going to read it out to the class, but he looked at it before he read it. All the note said was that the zip on his pants was down. With all respect to him, he calmly zipped up and continued teaching. Student, not the teacher. In my college thermodynamics class, the professor said that he didn't care if we got a text message in class. However, he did care if we had our ringers on. So his rule was that if you got a text message and your phone went off loud enough for the whole room to hear it, you had two options. You could either read the text out loud to the whole class, or you could bring in donuts for everyone at the next class. And there were about 20 of us. Of course, everyone keeps their phones on silent, so it never happens. Until smack dab in the middle of one of the exams, when the professor's phone gets a text message and rings out loud and clear in the middle of the exam. Professor freezes, takes one look at his phone as we all start giggling, and says, Guess I'm bringing you all donuts on Wednesday. They were delicious. 
One day in middle school, right around when the Nintendo Wii came out, you could add other friends online for certain compatible online Wii games by sharing a serial code of like 16 numbers or something around there. Sitting in the back of our 7th period science class, three of my friends and I started to exchange and write down our Wii serial codes on a small piece of paper. We'd pass it down and share it as we passed it and copy them in our notebooks. Our teacher pauses his lecture as he looks at us. He just gets up from the front of the class, walked to our row where the four of us sat, put his hand out to my buddy for the paper with all of our serial codes on it, takes a moment to glance at it, only to see a matrix of random numbers followed by the first letter of our names. He then glances up at us, then to my buddy with the most dumbfounded stare and squints and asked, Is this some kind of joke? Because I'm clueless on this one. My buddy that had to explain ourselves saved us all the embarrassment and said, I'll explain after class as he blushed. Luckily, our teacher was a really cool dude and was fine with that answer and told us just to put it away. We told him after class and he understood, but also said he was expecting some sort of elaborate code that we were encrypting messages in. Not a note, but an anonymous question to the class. In health class in freshman year of high school, we had to anonymously write questions about sexuality and the reproductive process. And the teacher would pull out a random card, read the question, and respond with a textbook answer. Said teacher was very religious and very open about her faith in a way that almost seemed patronizing. So I was surprised when she pulled out and read a card that said, What does the word cunt mean? She looked at the card, looked at us all calm, and then proceeded to pull up Wikipedia and other web media to inform us of the origin of the word, its connotation, and how it's used differently around the world. I was kind of shocked that she just wanted us to know what it meant, as if to say, don't look like a dumb fuck if you don't want to use this word in a sentence. I taught for a decade in a really rough area. I intercepted a lot of notes and was pretty shameless in public humiliation of my kids. I read a lot of bad stuff out loud. However, one really nice moment that stands out was when the super popular bubbly Latina girl sat next to the stereotype depressed weird white theater band girl. I see them passing notes, which is really uncharacteristic. The band girl seemed off and upset, but I let it go because it seemed like there was something going on more, and the Latina girl was a really nice kid. I didn't think she was bullying or anything. I had the girl stay after for a second and asked them what was up. The Latina girl said, I was worried about her. She looked sadder than usual, so I wanted to make sure she's cool. I asked the other girl if that's what was happening, and she said yep, and showed me the notes, which was a really heartfelt convo about boys, relationships, and feeling lonely. It was so damned sweet. I asked if they needed more time, and they both said yes. I could get them excused from their next class, and they asked if they could chill and talk more. I said sure, because you bet your ass wellness and mental health is a f ton more important than curriculum. They really had a moment, and it seemed to help them both. This was as 10th graders. I got to see them really develop a nice friendship over the next few years. Go girls! Wherever you are now, I hope you're still friends, and I'm glad I could help facilitate that. Another non-teacher here, but my 7th grade teacher typically always wore a dress shirt to class and looked very presentable, but this day he had his sleeves rolled up. Now, everyone loved this teacher, but my immediate thought was to write a note to my best friend sitting beside me that his arms were super hairy, and that note was passed back and forth with us cracking jokes about it. Nothing malicious or overly mean, just that we didn't think he'd have such hairy arms. We eventually got caught, and between classes he took us aside and warned us not to pass notes. And since this was the first time this happened, he would toss it out without reading it and let us go. Well, a couple of months go by and he decides to wear short sleeves again, and his arms were noticeably less hairy. I know 12-year-old girls don't have the greatest moral compass, but to this day, I still feel so bad that my dumbass little note might have made him so self-conscious about something so unimportant. I feel sorry, Mr. Fifield, wherever you are now. If you enjoyed this week's effective way to waste time, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. If you are enjoying the series, leave me a comment below. A special shout out to the content creators. You frickin' rock.